I'm Derek Briggs, a paleontologist here at Yale University and also director of the Yale Peabody Museum of Natural History. And I've been involved with uh, one of my former postdocs, Peter Van Roy, in a rather exciting discovery in Ordovician rocks in Morocco. So it's a slightly longer story. Anomalocaris, which you see here modeled, is one of my favorite Cambrian animals. It's become a kind of icon of the Cambrian explosion because it's the largest predator amongst those animals that appeared when all the major groups of metazoans first appear in the fossil record. And when I was a graduate student, I worked on this thing, but we had no idea what the whole animal looked like. We had these front-end grasping limbs, but they'd been interpreted as the body of a shrimp rather than part of a larger animal. And there's a strange disc-like jaw underneath, which you won't be able to see, which was interpreted as a jellyfish. But there were some specimens from this amazing Burgess shell deposit, about 510 million years old, in British Columbia, which gave us a clue to the fact that these various bits belong together, and indeed were part of this larger animal here, which you see here, uh, pretty much life-size. So this thing was a maneuverable, swimming animal that swam around in the Cambrian seas and presumably used these grasping appendages to capture its prey, which might have been soft-bodied arthropods and worms and other kinds of animals. Now we thought that Anomalocaris and its relatives had died out at about the end of the Middle Cambrian, somewhere around 510 or so million years ago. And recently, as I said, working in Morocco, on the rocks of the Fezzuata formations, <clears throat> Peter Van Roy and his colleagues and myself have discovered these extraordinary large concretions which you see on the bench here. And these turn out also to be anomalocaridids. And what's amazing about these is that they're much, much larger than any specimens previously discovered. As you can see, this concretion is about a meter long and it's preserved in a hard, uh, silicious rock which uh, splits and reveals information inside which includes these divisions or segments which have a series of filaments in, in, in uh, repeated divisions down the body which we interpret as gills on the back of these enormous animals. So in Morocco we have specimens that are not quite complete, we don't have the whole head but they clearly indicate that these things were well over a meter in size. And what's also remarkable is that contrary to our previous expectation, which was that these extraordinary animals disappeared by the end of the Cambrian, we now know that they persisted in the rock record and indeed were part of animal communities some uh, 30 million years or so later. So their disappearance was an artifact. We didn't have quite the right kinds of rocks in the record until we went and discovered these settings in Morocco where these and other extraordinary soft-bodied fossils are now providing very important clues to the fact that uh, marine communities even 30 million years later still had these giant predators uh, swimming around and uh, feeding on other kinds of organisms.